I'm Adam Atchell for Pro Football Weekly, and while the lockout is going on, there's no free agent movement, but we do have trades that can be coming that we can follow. I'm joined by Eric Edholm, and Eric, one of the biggest ones is Kevin Cobb. He should be on the move, it looks like. You cover the Eagles for us. What are you hearing? Is he definitely gone? Well, it obviously depends on when the CBA happens or if this injunction on April 6th, whether that uh, holds up and the NFL is spurred back into activity. The only trades that can happen right now, of course, are just draft pick for draft pick. But that doesn't mean teams aren't talking. And Cobb is one of the hottest veteran names out there. You know, everything I've heard from team sources, from uh, league sources, people around the league, is that this is probably going to happen. Kevin Cobb will be a former Eagle. It just depends on what the team can get for him. You know, they're going to set the price very high and see what teams are willing to offer. There are a lot of clubs out there that could use a quarterback. Yeah, we've definitely seen that. We've heard rumors that they've already been offered a first-round pick. We don't know exactly if that's true. What do you think they will get for him? Yeah, I think some of those rumors are obviously started by the club. You know, started with the Eagles. You know, and we saw them kind of follow this playbook last year with Donovan McNabb. They got the word out about the same time at the owners' meeting. Andy Reid said, "Hey, we love Donovan McNabb, but we're willing to listen." Same kind of message for Kevin Cobb. Praised them up and down. Use the past tense. To me, that's one of those telling things. He said, "I enjoyed coaching him." So that kind of gives you an idea of what they think. So. You know, I would guess it starts with a first-round pick, maybe a little something, a little sweetener thrown in there from another team. They're going to let teams go back and forth, you know, play one offer against the other and see what they can get. I mean, we, we've seen him play a little bit, but we don't have a you know, not a huge track record from him as a starter. Is he worth a first-round pick? Well, it depends on what you want to say. I mean, you could look at Blaine Gabbert or Cam Newton or any of the other quarterbacks who are coming out in this draft. Some of those guys are going to be considered top ten picks. Is Kevin Cobb worth a top ten pick? No, because the upside probably isn't as high, but he has seven starts in the NFL, has performed well in some of them. You know, he, he had some performances this year that were actually pretty good. But overall, the fact that he was surpassed by Michael Vick has lowered his value a little bit. Uh, I would say, yeah, he's worth a first round pick. Probably not a top 10 choice, though. So now let's look at the Eagles. You know, we, they had a pretty good situation with Michael Vick and Kevin Cobb in there as well. With Cobb gone, now what happens? Well, Vic is the starter, and obviously they're going to continue to work towards signing him towards a long-term deal. Still has some great football left. They believe in him. They think his skills are outstanding, and they think he's going to actually be more consistent over 16 games if he's healthy. That's the big right. question. The only other quarterback on the roster is Mike Kafka, who was a mid-round draft pick last year. Intriguing prospect, and maybe one day he'll be the backup. But the thinking is, if they were to trade Cobb, I would assume they go into the veteran free agent market Try to find a guy who's got 10, 15, 20 for, uh, starts in the NFL and use him as a veteran backup, somebody that's got a little more insurance behind him. Either way, it's at least nice to have something to talk yeah. about other than the lockout as the draft gets near. At least we can talk no free agency. We can talk some trades. Appreciate it, Eric. <laughs> for all the best inside information in the NFL, be sure to follow us on Twitter or go to ProFootballWeekly.com.